Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so, so much, Mama Tandi, for such a powerful worship. Thank you so much to you, Brother Fodisho, as well, for leading us so beautifully with Bible review. May the Lord bless you, sir. At this point, you are going to hand over to the father of the house, Dr. Reverend Light, to take it away from this point on the very last day of the 11th hour turnaround conference. We thank God for everything that he has done. Over to you, sir. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, program director, Mama Zoliswa. We thank God for his grace upon your life. I want to really give thanks to God for what he has done in the course of this conference from the very first day till this moment. I have multiplied reasons to say, Lord, you called for this meeting and we are so thankful and we are so grateful. And I want us to begin by you know, giving thanks to him for every single day you came to this meeting, the words that came, the declarations from his servants, let's begin to give him thanks. And please, as you do that, check your invitees or your family or your friends or members of this network that are not here at the moment and then remind them, send a reminder, send a reminder, please, is very important. The last day of this divine, 11th hour divine turnaround carries something that is so vital, so important, for them to move to the next level and they can't afford to miss it. Please give them a call, send a reminder. And as you do so, just begin to give thanks to God for what has been downloaded into your life, the impact and everything that God has done in your life since we began. Shall we begin to pray, everybody? You can please unmute yourself, unmute yourself as we do that. Father, I give thanks to you this morning. I give yes, you glory. Lord, I give you honor. Give you all the glory and the honor, oh my God. Father, I give you all the glory and the honor, oh my God. Father, I give you all the glory and the honor, oh my God. For your love and your grace, and your grace, love of God of Father, and bring to be with me on my God of Father, throughout my God of Father, so I am a God of my God in the mighty name of Father, Father, that we are with the hope of God of Father, God gives to my heart and to you where my hands shall come to my God, my hands come from the Lord who have made the heaven and the earth, oh my God, this morning the hope of God of Father, I give you all the praise of God, I give you all the praise of God, I give you all the praise of God, Thank 
Glory to Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. My heart is overflowing with joy for the goodness we have seen for your divine intervention in different ways. Be thou glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. All right, once again, I welcome everyone and I give thanks to God for you. Thank you so much, servants of God that joined again today to bring the conclusion to this. Sorry, just a minute. To join me to cement, to perfect what the Lord has started. I want to once again um, celebrate the presence of God's servant, Dr. Robert Akande, who is here to join us today, um, Dr. Joseph Ono, who is here also to join us today, the minister in the course of this meeting, and Professor Atan, all the way from Germany, who has joined us to, 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 to conclude this great meeting, and other ministers who ministered in the course of this conference will also be joining us joining us rather to ensure that what the lord has started shall surely be brought to completion thank you mama heart for joining us again today the lord bless you ma all right people of god i perceive in my spirit that god wants to hasten his word to bring it to per perfection and performance according to you know the declaration of jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12 the lord shall hasten his words today the Lord has shall hasten his word. We are praying, you know, in the course of the midnight, and the Lord said to me, there are certain things he planned out from the first day. For whatever reason, they did not come to completion. Either you missed it at the time the button was being pressed, you were absent, all right? And this day, God can't let you go without taking hold of what has been ordained for you without taking hold of what has been ordained for you. He wouldn't let that happen. He wouldn't let that happen. Today, the Lord is here to hasten his word to bring it to performance. And I want you to please remember, in the book of Psalm 138, verse 8, can somebody give me Psalm 138, verse number 8? I hope it's Mama, uh, who is in the media, please try as much as possible to, to be fast as we flow. Psalm 138, verse number 8. Now, you will, you will agree with me that Jesus, on the last day of the feast, the Bible says he stood and he cried out. He said, let him that is thirsty come and drink, for out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. It tells me in this portion, thank you, Holy Spirit. He says, the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. My, thy mercy, O Lord, endure it forever. Forsake not the works of thy own hand. I'm here to announce to you, servant of God, that you are the work of God's hand. And he will not forsake that which he has started. God will not start a project he's not prepared to complete. I am a project in the hand of God. You are a project in the hand of God. Our focus in this 15 days, where as the Lord led it in my spirit, they were targeting five key areas. Number one, personal spiritual revival. Personal spiritual revival. You need to be revived to revive others. You need to be on fire to kindle fire in the heart of other people. You need to be delivered. You need to be made whole. You need to be comforted. You need to be strengthened to be able to comfort, strengthen, and help others to be made whole. 
So you are a walk in the hand of God and he will not forsake you. He will not forsake you. He said, Lord will perfect. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure forever. Servant of God, I'm here to declare to you that this day the Lord will bring to perfection. He will bring to perfection that which concerns your personal spiritual life, that which concerns your health, your health, that which concerns your finances, that which concerns your finances that has been under siege, under siege, the Lord God of heaven will intervene to interrupt the scheme, the devices, the manipulations of the devil and to bring to perfection that which concerns your finances. Our other focus is our life destiny journey, our life mission, our life assignment. Some people have been distracted. Some people have been us down in the pursuit of their life mission and we are here to declare that by the mercy of God by the mercy of God you are destiny shall be revived again your life mission shall be revived again so there is a resurrection that started since we began this meeting even in my own life God has been opening my eyes face by face step by step, in different dimensions, showing me what should be, what should be, and how it should be. I believe the same is happening to you. There are dimensions of your life mission, dimensions of your life assignment that have been under siege. You have been disconnected or distracted from it. And we're here to declare that Jehovah himself will intervene on this last day to bring all things that pertain to your life to divine alignment. And remember, our other dimension, our other, other purpose of this meeting is that God is set to perfect that which concerns your marriage and your family life. Your marriage and your family life. We understand that in this end time, the devil is fighting by all means to cripple marriages, to cripple families in order to hinder the end time revival agenda of God. But he will not succeed over your marriage. He will not succeed over your family. And that is why this day we are crying, God, perfect that which concerns my marriage. Perfect that which concerns my family. Let not the wish, the desire, the, the, the expectation, the programming, the, the the, the, the conspiracy, the bewitchment, the divination and sorcery of different kind against my marriage, against my family, let it not prosper. So I want you to open, please unmute yourself and begin to speak into your life in different areas. Lord, this last day I come to you to cry out my heart. Lord, do something to bring to perfection that which concerns me. Show me mercy in all areas of my life. Shall we begin to press somebody in the name of Jesus, my God. it's just mighty now we pray amen and amen please that's the way i'm going to flow this morning um because of the uniqueness of this meeting, I will raise a prayer point and at the end of it, I will call one of the ministers to make a prophetic seal very briefly because of a number of things that God wants to do here. So I will call one of God's servants to just make a prophetic seal on this statement. As we are praying this prayer now, I have my prayer points here, but something is just flashed in my spirit. 
He said, roll away the gravestone. Roll away the gravestone. You remember when in, I think in John chapter, um, chapter 11, Lazarus was dead and buried four days already in the grave, decaying, of course, you understand that. Uh, the grave of those days are not like today's grave where you put cement and block everywhere, you know, and in, they only put the person in the grave and put a stone there. There will certainly be space and hole for flies to enter, all right? And several maggots were inside that body and the ants were all over that body. But those ants and those, you know, uh, maggots did not stop what God wanted to do. When Jesus came, they said, Master, you came too late. If you had come earlier, our brother would not have died. And what did he say? If only you would believe. If only you believe. Even though it looks like all hope is gone. It looks like it's too late already. It looks like there is no rational reason to believe that Lazarus will come back again. However, if thou would believe, if thou would believe, if thou would believe, you will see the glory of God. He told them, go roll away the gravestone. Roll away the gravestone. And he spoke, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus that was dead and buried and decayed suddenly came back to life. Whatever happened to the maggots, whatever happened to the ants, no mortal can explain it. The kidney, the liver, the heart, the veins and arteries and all the systems, all the intestines that we are rotten, supernaturally we are revived, supernaturally came back to life. There's no way to explain that. I want us to pray. I hear, roll away the gravestone. Is there any gravestone that is before you, that is standing between you and the health, between you and your finance, between you and your marriage healing, between you and your children, your grandchildren, between you and your wife, between you and your husband, any gravestone standing between you and that assignment, that mandate, that program, that mission for which you came at this time in the land of the living. I want you to address it. It could be cultural. It could be family curses, whatever it is. Every gravestone must give way today. Every covenant must give way today. Every satanic yoke and bondage and blockage must give way today. Can we begin to pray? Uh, we are not praying. We are commanding. Every gravestone before me, get out of the way. I am entering the next place. I am entering the next realm, the next level of my life in the name of Jesus. After, when I stop you, I will ask uh, Professor Atan to speak to this gate, speak to this gravestone. Please, sir, you just make a declaration and it shall be so. Shall we unmute everybody and begin to pray? <laughs> just mighty name glory to god professor atansa please make a declaration and it shall be so yes 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord, as prophetic gatekeepers. I command in the name of Jesus every gravestone, O oh God, of delay, every gravestone stagnation, every gravestone of poverty, challenges, I command, be thou lifted up, be thou lifted up, and be cast away in the name of Jesus. All such gravestones of God have brought frustrations and limitations and stagnation over your people and over their destiny. I command them to be uprooted, to be uprooted, to be uprooted, to be uprooted, and let them be cast away in the name of Jesus. Whatever Amen. gravestone Lord, and I have a name. Whatever that has a name that is confronting your people as gravestone, oh God, in the name that is above every name, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and they cast the way into oblivion. Never again will you rise up. Things not be possible. We are possessed, our possession at the gate. We come and gatekeep us, our God, and we sack every of those supervising demon spirits that have been opposing us at the gate. Just then, we dismantle them and we cast them away. Oh Lord, we come and gatekeep us for possess our position and we shall be shown with your people. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, servant of God. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I don't take those declarations for granted at all. People of God, the second thing the Lord led in my spirit says, instant obedience. We're talking about keys. He is engaging today to unlock, to unlock everything that has held your result, your harvest. Deuteronomy chapter 9 says something that is, is roaring like a thunder inside of me. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 29, it said, Oh, that there were such an heart in them that they would fear me and keep all my commands. New Living Translation said, that they will can give it to me new living translation. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 29, that keep all my commandments always that it might be well with them and with their children forever. He says, all oh, that, New Living Translation, please. Thank you, precious Father. All oh, that they would always have hearts like this, that they might fear me and obey all my commands. If they did, they and their descendants would prosper forever. We are not talking about momentary prosperity. We are not talking about just prosperity or breakthrough or victorious living within your own time space. No, generational breakthrough, generational, generational. He says, oh, that they would always have hearts like this, a heart that is always willing and ready to you know, to walk in the fear of God, to walk in obedience to the commands of God, the commands of God, both the ones that are written in the Bible and the momentary seasonal commands, instructions, and leadings, and guidance, and the inspirations that he brings into your spirit. He said, if they did, they and their descendants would prosper forever, prosper forever. Can you imagine that? And remember what happened in Luke chapter four, chapter five, rather, when Peter, the fisherman, the professional fisherman, fished all through the night and caught nothing. And then the lion of the tribe of Judah appeared, Jehovah in the form of man, Jesus, the son of the living God appeared. And what did he say? He told him, cast your net into the deep. It didn't make sense. He said, well, I have fished all through the night when I know that the fishes always come. But now, you said I should go into the deep, cast my net. Well, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it's not, it's, it doesn't make sense, but I will do at your command. And as he did, what happened? The net caught so much fishes that he never saw likely in his life. I, thought, I don't think he ever saw that kind of you know, harvest. And the net was tearing, net tearing harvest. Net rending harvest happened when all hope was lost. When all hope was lost, it was like the eleventh hour when there was no rational reason to believe that this man was going to catch fish. And then the fishes gathered. How did they gather? At the command of the master. 
at the obedience, at his obedience. Peter could have said, uh, well, Mr. Jesus, or whatever they call you, I know that what you're saying doesn't make sense. But he obeyed. He obeyed. By that instant obedience, God said to me this morning to say something to you. Oh, come on. Sorry, somebody's calling me. Sorry for that. Somebody need to hear the voice of God today and obey. You need to hear the voice of God and obey. There is a voice you must listen to. There is a voice you must listen to as it touches the different aspects of the life we are talking about. So when he did, you know the result. There was so much fish, the net was breaking, and he beckoned on other people to come and help him. And all of them, their nets, were all, they, their, their, their boat was almost sinking. And the thing that excited me is, is that they were, all, they, 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 they were all astonished. They were all astonished, both himself and his friends. They were all astonished. God is said to do for me, to do for you, things that will astonish people, things that will astonish people, that will amaze people, that will cause people to tremble before God, tremble before God. I want us to cry unto God and, over this matter. Oh, Lord, help me to obey you. Help me to obey you, servant of God. Sometimes what you are looking for is, is encapsulated in your obedience. What you are fighting over is encapsulated in your obedience. Just simple obedience. The breakthrough will become a practical reality. This is what the Lord said to me. I don't know who that is referring to. What is God telling you to do which you are ignoring? You are overlooking it. I face it and your life we turn into an amazing testimony to the glory of this name. We're going to make this prayer. I just pray, God, give me grace to obey you. And after that, I call Dr. Dr. Akande to please speak over the him instantly, instantly. Please unmute yourself, servant of God, and begin to pray. Grace to obey that will lead us to astonishing harvest, net renting harvest in the name of Jesus. My God, the boss of Talia, prompt us with an Azetre, the great Gadiet of the Capo Centre in Azeria, Centre in the Gadiet Anosa, the Rodo, Sempra Gadiet Capo Centre, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this morning. Let there be grace to obey. Grace for instant obedience. Grace for instant obedience. Grace for instant obedience. in the name of Jesus. All in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Dr. Kande, please, can you speak into this matter? There is grace that needs to flow into our hearts to help us obey as he speaks. Amen. Take it like Hallelujah. In, in the name of Jesus, I decree a release of the grace to be able to obey all the time instantly when God commands, that grace is released now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, the kind of grace that worked in Peter, that he was able to obey, even though it was against natural reasoning, that grace, oh God, is released upon us this morning Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, Amen. this is not just obedience, but mm. timely obedience. Father, yes, the grace is released. Mm. The grace mm. is released upon us, mm. oh God, uh, in the mm. name of Jesus Christ. Uh, if there is a spirit behind disobedience, then mm. there is a spirit behind obedience. The spirit of holy God uh, is mm. released upon every one of us now in mm. the name of Jesus Christ. No Amen. matter how unreasonable the command is, uh, no mm. matter how unreasonable the instruction is, beginning mm. from now, the mm. grace to obey is released upon us, Lord. Uh, 
in the mm. name of Jesus Christ, uh, no one mm. will miss divine opportunities again by reason mm. of disobedience. Uh, beginning from now, Lord, uh, thank you, Heavenly Father, because by this grace, we shall have amazing testimonies, amazing mm. testimonies of your goodness, amazing mm. testimonies of your kindness, amazing Hallelujah. testimonies of great truth on every side. Thank you, mm. Heavenly Father, because mm. I know this is done this morning. In Jesus' mm. mighty, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. amen and amen. Glory to Jesus. Thank you so much, sir. People of God, my Bible is opened again to the book of Ruth. Ruth, chapter 3, verse number 18. It said, Then said she, Sit still, my daughter. Sit still, my daughter, until thou know how this matter will fall. Until thou know how the matter will fall. For the man will not be in rest. The man will not be in rest until he have finished the thing this day. There is something that must be finished this day. He says, the man will not be at rest. He will not have rest. Give it in, in a different translation possibly. Until he have finished, finalized, completed the thing that is appointed and it must be happen, it must happen today. Of course, you know, that was uh, um, Naomi speaking to Ruth concerning Boaz that was on a mission over her life. I felt very strong in my spirit that there is somebody, there is an organization, there is someone, an organization, a group that is meant to do good to you, to do you good, to do you good. And God will arrest them to have no rest, to have no peace until they do what is meant, what is they, they are meant to do. He said, the man won't rest until he has settled things today. They will not rest, they will not have peace, they will be they will not they won't be able to sleep. I mean, scriptures are bound to that because of time. I won't go into all of that. That God will put people under pressure, put board of directors, put put people who are in position to sign that contract to approve your promotion, approve your release, approve what belongs to you that have been sieged, that have been held captive. God will put them under pressure. The angel of the Lord will appear to them, threaten them in the dream and in the real life. God, arise and let them not have rest until they settle what is meant to be settled. Remember, First Peter chapter 5, verse 10, he said that he, the God of all Grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory. He said, after you have suffered for a while, he will do what? He will perfect you. He will do what? He will establish you. He will strengthen you. He will settle you. There are things that are meant to be settled today. There are things that are meant to be settled before the end of this week, all right? Before the end of this month, before the end of this year, they will not have rest. God put them under pressure until it is done. At the end of that, I would like Dr. Um, Joseph uh, Honor to make a declaration briefly on this matter. Shall we please unmute and begin to pray? Lord, arise and go forth and put systems, organization, people under pressure yes. to deliver to me what the Lord will do. we begin to pray? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus mounted a weapon, hallelujah. But all just the place, can you make a decree over this matter? Hallelujah, my God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the precious mm. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name that is above every other name, we decree mm. this day, mm. as we have read earlier, that the mm. Lord will perfect everything that concerns us. We decree mm. on this platform that the mercy of the Lord will prevail. Even Amen. according to that Psalm 138, verse 8, that your mercy, O Lord, will prevail and you mm. will perfect everything that concerns us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, I decree, according to the book of Joshua chapter 6, he said, now, Jericho was shot because of the children of Israel. Jesus. Jericho means place of fragrance, place of celebration, place of aroma, place of sweet things. Every door that has been shut against your fragrance, against your celebration, against your manifestation, in the name of Jesus, let them be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Not Amen. only that, he said unto Joshua, he said, I have given you Jericho. I have given you the king. I have given you the mighty men. Kings over Jericho means the principality, the power that are standing against the against the, the 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 celebration, the manifestation of men, the mighty men there stands for structures, structures standing against the aroma of the children of God, the manifestation of the children of God. I stand and I decree every king over your manifestation. Every mighty man, strong man, over your celebration, we pull them down in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree now in the name of Jesus that your, your sun will never go down. Your rising will never go down. We decree now every organization, every institution, every person that have been ordained before the foundation of the world, to declare the glory of God, the majesty of God, the celebration of God, the fulfillment of God, the perfection of God upon your life. Let them begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Let them begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Let them begin to hear the voice of the Lord on this platform and begin mm. to do the will of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Peace and manifestation for the mm. glory of God in Jesus' name, we have decreed. Amen. amen and amen. Glory to God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. People of God, second to the last prayer I have here is in the book of Isaiah chapter 45. The Lord gave us this scripture as one of the scriptures of this year. One of the scriptures of this year, Isaiah chapter 45. I want to speak it into the heavens and we make declarations over it. All right, and look at it. He says, thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holding, to subdue king nations before him, and I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates, and the gate shall not be shut. The gate shall not be shut. God is laying hand on somebody. God is laying hand on organizations. God is laying hand on institutions and government of nations to make way for you, to make way for you. And he said, that gate shall not be opened. That shall not be shut. It shall not be closed. There are gates God will open and no mortal can shut it. 
He says in verse number two, I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gate of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Servant of God, I see gates flung open. I see gates flung open. I see crooked places made straight. I see God level mountains before you at the eleventh hour. I see God level mountains, make crooked ways straight, fill valleys, fill valleys valleys at the very last minute at the very last minute he says something here i will break gates gate of brass gate of bronze gate of iron i will break them asunder so that nothing will stop you you know i have always read this scripture but this morning as i was reflecting the lord opened my eyes to see something which i don't know if i've ever seen it before the next verse says, and I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of the secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by name, am the God of Israel. Now, you notice something here. He talked about hidden riches. He talked about treasures, hid treasures and hidden riches. Before he got to treasures and hidden riches, he said there are hidden riches that are hidden you know you know secret hidden riches treasures of darkness hidden riches of the secret places that have been kept for you they are not it is hidden it's still secret till today because it's meant for you nobody's permitted to assess it nobody's permitted to see it or notice it or to take hold of it it is kept for me it is kept for you but before that there are gates of brass that need to be smashed that need to be destroyed. Before you get to the hidden riches, the secret blessings, before you get there, there are gates of brass that need to be broken. There are what? Crooked places that need to be made straight. And because you may not be able to do them, he is sending a Cyrus under God's anointing, under God's empowerment to go and open the door and break those gates and destroy those crookedness so that you will enter and take delivery, take possession of your portion of these hidden treasures, hidden blessings and hidden riches. What a wonder. So, servant of God, I want us to get into this matter. I want you to begin to pray, Lord, let the army of King Cyrus's men and women on a mission, their mission is that they, 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 everything that is limiting me from getting at those treasures, those hidden riches, let those things be cleared of the way so that I will assess and take delivery. I hope you understand that. Pray, call them up, call them up. There are angels on assignment here now. As you're praying, the angel of the Lord will be locating those people wherever they are and stirring their hearts to come your way in the mighty name of Jesus and gates are collapsing. Your are breaking, you are entering every treasure kept for you. You don't have to get it after you are dead. No, it has to happen now. And I mean now, this 11th hour before the end, of, God forbid that your life will be the same into 2024. God forbid. There must be a radical change. No matter where you are, we all operate at different levels, spiritually, financially, health-wise, we are at different levels. The level you are now, I stand as God messenger to declare you have expired at this level. You need to go to the next level. You need to upgrade to the next level, the next realm, the next realm of glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we unmute and begin to pray? Uh, the moment we finish that prayer, um, uh, is uh, is Pastor Abraham in the house? Pastor Abraham, please, if you're in the house, the moment we finish, go ahead and make that declaration. In the name of Jesus, let's unmute, let's unmute and begin to pray, Father. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name Every <laughs> 
Name of Jesus, Pastor Ebi, please go ahead and declare. Malose Pratanas Yende Nagadia. Egadabadi and Trish. Pastor Abraham, are you there? Please unmute yourself and declare, sir. Le Katasum Brada. Isten Tenagadia. Reduna Spetalis Yendesh. Pastor Abraham. Oh, sorry. I didn't know I was muted. Okay. I decree and bring the spirit of prophecy. The mm. prophecy of Isaiah happened several years, more than a hundred years, 150 years before Cyrus was born. And it occurred with accuracy. And this morning, by the declaration that we have received from the servant of God, I decree and declare that you are being positioned for the fulfillment of prophecy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That prophecy was declared before you were born. Christ died before you were born. There are things that are kept for you that immediately you come into Christ, those things will begin to take effect. Immediately you become a new creation, those things will begin to take effect. The hidden riches in secret places, treasures, are not there because you are working hard. They are there because you are a child of the King of Kings. I therefore declare that by your identity in Christ Jesus, those mm. things that belong to you begin to locate you. In the mm. name of Jesus, Cyrus mm. was a child of prophecy. And I mm. decree and declare that we have received this word this morning. It's a prophetic word. And therefore, mm. be positioned. I decree mm. that in your workplace, you are positioned for prophecy. I decree mm. that in your business, you are positioned for prophecy fulfillment. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. As God opened the gates of Babylon very easily for King Cyrus, and he entered and possessed those treasures without fight, without struggle. Mm. I decree mm. today, in the name mm. of Jesus, you mm. will have what God has kept for you without Amen. struggle, without fight, in the name of Jesus. Mm. The Lord God of heaven release his armies, mm. the armies of angels. The Bible says, I did not minister in spirit. Send forth to minister for those who shall be heirs of salvation. I mm. decree and declare that what is your own will come to you. What Amen. is your own will come to you. What Amen. is your own will locate your address in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. The spirit Amen. of prophecy, mm. oh my God, become fulfilled in your life. The Bible mm. says in Isaiah 45, where we have read, God said, mm. I am doing it for Jacob, my servant's sake. God's mm. blessing will come upon you for mm -hmm. the sake of the kingdom. Mm. For the sake of the kingdom. I mm. decree that God position you because of the church. I decree mm -hmm. that God open doors of blessing because of the advancement of his work. In mm. the name of Jesus, mm. I break the hands of the evil ones that have mm. held back what belongs to you. In the name of Jesus. They are mm. releasing it by force. They are releasing Amen. it by force. And like we Amen. had previously, they will not rest until they have released Amen. what belongs to you. Glory in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Receive this fulfillment and Glory walk in the consciousness of it. Glory and you are a child of prophecy. And the prophecy is fulfilled in your days in Jesus' Glory name. To Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you so much, Pastor A.B. The Lord bless you, sir. People of Thank God, you. listen to this. <laughs> the Lord gave me this word in the course of the night and I want to bring it to you. 
I'm going to the book of uh, Joshua chapter 22, 21, rather verse 45. Joshua 21 verse 45. He says, there fell not out of any, out of any good thing which the Lord has spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. Different translation, please. All came to pass. Every promise of the Father, all came to pass. What is it God has promised you, servant of God? Yes, I know time has gone. You haven't seen it. Look at that. He said, not a single one of all the good promises of the Lord had given the Lord had given to the family of Israel was left unfulfilled. Everything he had spoken came through. Glory to God. This is my encouragement. This is my anchor. This is my joy. He said, not a single one of the good promise of the, the, the good promise the Lord had given to my and my family, you and your family, the Global Harvest Prayer Network, not one, not a single one of them was left unfulfilled. Everything he had spoken came to pass. You know, Paul was writing in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. He said that all the promises of God are fulfilled in Christ. They are yea and amen in Christ. They are yes in Christ. They are yes. Every of God's promises, all of them put together are inside of Christ. When you have Christ, you have found the hope, the confidence, the foundation for the fulfillment of the promises of God. I want you, therefore, to begin to thank God. Lord, everything you have spoken to me concerning my health, concerning my finance, concerning my marriage, concerning my family, my children, my grandchildren, concerning my husband, concerning my wife, everything you have spoken concerning my mission on earth, the assignment for which I came into this world, every one of them shall come to pass. My activity in my workplace, the position you promised me in my workplace, everything you promised me, Lord, I thank you because they are coming to pass. I receive them even at this 11th hour. At this 11th hour, when it looks like time is gone, no more chance, no more opportunity. No, with God, nothing is impossible. Shall we begin to pray? Glory to God. Glory to God. Please, is uh, Bishop Joshua Simeon in the house? My bishop, are you here? Yes. All right, sir. Please, just make a declaration over this matter. Thank God we are looking at the book of Joshua and the Joshua himself is here, sir. Please declare over this. No word of God over our life will be unfulfilled. Don't make a declaration. Glory to Jesus. Father, by the revelation of your word in Joshua 21 verse 45, huh. there failed not out of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the mm. house of Israel, all mm. came to pass. Oh. Therefore, I stand on the authority mm. and integrity of your word that everything you spoke to every man of God, woman of God, and mm. everyone under the sound of my voice this year, we, mm. shall, we decree it is released in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I decree Amen. it is released in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen. It's written Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Our Lord God, behold, you've made the heavens and the earth by your great power. You've oh. made the heavens and the earth by your outstretched hands. Nothing oh. is too difficult for you. Therefore, oh. because nothing is too difficult for you, that mm. business deal, that ministry expansion, that supernatural restoration, that health condition, I decree and declare it is healed and done in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree that every pain that God has promised everyone under the sound of my voice, the word mm -hmm. has gone forth, it shall not come back void. It will surely prosper and accomplish in everything that is said to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. thing, verse 8, and the word of the Lord came unto him saying, Arise, get thee to Seraphat, and that, that, that belong to Sidon, and dwell there. I have commanded the widow. That man, that woman, that boy, that girl, the angel that God has ordained to send our way to make sure that this prophecy comes to pass. Mm. I command those angels, those human angels, those divine angels, release to the ministries, release to our people, release to us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them, but the right hand of God and thy arm and the light of thy countenance yes, because God. thou hast favored them. I hear the Lord saying, this all shall be done within the next few weeks for every one of us by the Amen. force of the people. Therefore, I pray that the, as we finish this meeting and say amen today, let the mark of favor, let the mark of Hallelujah. divine exemption, Hallelujah. let the mark of supernatural favor come upon amen. Amen. everyone that says amen, amen. to this right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 For the light amen. amen. Second King 3, 18. And this is but a life thing in the sight mm -hmm. of the Lord. He will deliver Moabite into his hands. So Amen. finally, thus mm -hmm. say the Lord, it mm -hmm. is but a life thing. It mm -hmm. is but a life thing. A life Second thing. Kings 3 verse 18. Mm -hmm. This is but a life thing. This yes, is sir. but a life thing in the sight yes, of sir. the Lord. Every oh. prayer we pray from the first oh. day of this particular program of the ah. 15th day of this particular program, <laughs> Thus mm. say the Lord, it is a light thing for me to bring it to pass. And therefore, mm. I decree in agreement with the men mm. of God in the house, with the women of God in the house, with a certain man in this platform, that everything we have prayed, as we decree and declare amen right now, it is settled spiritually, settled physically, settled morally, financially, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. It is done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, my bishop. Thank you, sir. People of God, we are taking the last key, the last key that will settle everything. In the Bible, you know, the Lord took me to go out to, 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 to look again into the book of John chapter 6. I'm going to read from verse number 5. John chapter 6 from verse 5. He says, when Jesus... So when Jesus had lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, when shall we buy bread that these may eat? And this he said to prove him. For he himself, he himself knew what he would do. And you know the story, I won't read it all because of time. And these people, let them go. Let them go. How can we feed them? And what did he say? Remember, he has said, he said, he, this he's asked, knowing what he will do. As I was going through it in the hours of this morning, the Lord said, he knew what he was going to do. He knows what he wants to do. He knows what he wants to do in my life, in your life. It may not make sense. You may not know how. How will you feed 5,000 men, not including children and women? Mm -hmm. Certainly, there shouldn't be less than 10,000. How will you feed them? He said, even 
Even a year's wage cannot feed these people. Even if we have the money, how do we get the bread in the wilderness? How do we get it? But this is asked to test them, for he knew what he wanted to do. There is something God wants to do over your life, over your family, over your marriage, over your destiny, your mission, over your business, over your ministry. Something he wants to do. Nobody knows about it. You don't even know. The apostles didn't know. Philip didn't know. It was Peter that said, Master, well, there is a small boy in this place. He has just a, 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 food, a lunch box, a lunch box, the mom prepared for him. All right, can we bring it? But what is this amongst this large multitude of people? He knew what he wanted to do. So he told them to bring it. As he took it, what was it he did? Number one, he told them, tell the people to sit down. Tell them to sit down. That's the first thing. Sometimes you need to sit down, servant of God. You need to sit down and hear him and meditate and reflect and understand the handwriting on the wall. Understand the handwriting on the wall to know what he will have you do. Tell them to sit down. And the next is he blessed it by thanking God. He took the bread, the five little loaves and the two little fishes. He took it and gave thanks, he gave thanks, he gave thanks. The moment he gave thanks and handed it over to the disciples, the, the mystery began to happen. The miracle began to happen. It's still one of the greatest wonder in the Bible. Number one, the dividing of the Red Sea. Number two, how five little fishes, all right, little bread, piece of bread, rather loaves of bread and two fishes fed over 5,000 people, and they were heavily, mind you, these people have waited for three days. They have been there for three days, so hungry. Very hungry people fed them all, and after which there were 12 baskets left. At the beginning, the whole fish and the bread were inside one basket, one small basket. At the end of it, they had 12 baskets. How do you explain that? The mystery of thanksgiving. The Lord said to me, to say to you, this meeting will end fruitfully by you giving him thanks. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, through prayer, supplication, we thank given, we thanks given, let your request be made known to God. And that is what we've been doing. For said to me earlier, what of this morning? to every man that will be here to give him a thanksgiving offering. A thanksgiving offering. We don't need to quote the scriptures and preach a sermon on this. I'm sure you understand the place of thanksgiving offering when you are expecting 11th hour in the health, 11th hour turnaround in the business, in the finance, in the promotion. We are waiting for Lord. I need the eleven hour turnaround. The little loaves and little fish, and thank God, thank the Father. Immediately, mystery took place. Something miraculous is about to happen. Something strange is about to happen in my life, in your life. The key is. Thanks given, Lord, thank you. Lord, with words, take something and give thanks to God today in ad for advancement to what is, is about to happen in your life. Your destiny has been under siege. Your life mission is being truncated up and down. It's been my be broken. That bewitchment over your assignment on earth must be destroyed, even through your offering. The woman, the widow, the wife of the prophet who died and left depths upon depths upon death, credit came to take her children 
and she cried to the prophet. What did the prophet say? What do you have? She said, I have nothing. I have nothing. Sir, I came to you for help. And you asking me, what do I have? He said, you have something. Sir, I have nothing except this little cruise of oil. He said, oh, good. I It looks like all hope is lost. God do it for me, and I will give you praise for the rest of my life. Shall we make this prayer and declaration? Please put on the offering details over here. This is not just the kind of offering we do. No, this is a prophetic life. Changing life around often. Wherever you are, there really is a way you can connect to it. Be you Nigeria, Europe, America, anywhere. Connect to this and be sure that it's 11 hour turnaround after a fact. God is giving you a privilege to do this. Go ahead and give it as I so I give you my own offering as an appreciation, as a key, as an appreciation, as I give you my offering, as a thanksgiving to, within the spirit of Father. Let there be such a supernatural intervention. Let there be such supernatural intervention, supernatural intervention, supernatural intervention. In the name of Jesus, we come to bow. Of thanks. Jesus Christ. Give Blessed be God. In Jesus' Lord. mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Father, I give thanks to you. I give you glory. I give you honor. For what you have gone ahead of us to do, walls that have been kicked down, walls that you have kicked down. Thank you for the walls that have been kicked down. Thank you for mountains that have been lifted. Thank you for the valleys that have been filled. Thank you for the crooked ways that have been mastered. Thank you. Thank you for the enemies that have been put on, uh, that have been arrested. Satanic strongholds that have been arrested. Jesus principalities and powers, witches and wizards that have been cleared of the way, that have been cleared of the way at the 11th hour. Thank you for men and women, systems who put under pressure, people who put under pressure, organizations, companies, you put under pressure, government, lawmakers, you put under pressures, in put under pressure for supernatural intervention. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Servant of God, I wish I'm close to you to give you a handshake and a hug mm -hmm. and to say congratulations, congratulations mm -hmm. for what the mm -hmm. Lord has done in your life in every aspect. To him be all the glory. Please give us testimonies. You put it on the group. If you are not in the group, tell us what the Lord has done. I know that I know that great things have happened in the course of these 15 days. God Man. bless you. I hand over to the program director as she leads us through. Please, you have to bear with us. Amen. We amen. Pray and for amen. the continent of North, South, and Central America. America. So please give us Amen. a little bit of time. Amen. We do that, then we do the communion. Please Amen. don't the opinion of this last day. God bless you. Take over. Bless you thank too. You, thank to thank you. Thank you so, so we much. Wow, wow. We Everyone. give God all the glory. We give God all the glory for all he has done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a powerful, powerful message. The message that is ready to transform our lives forever in the mighty name of Jesus. We will forever come back to the you left. Your mother, you must give me that, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, your mother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank God, we thank God uh, for such a powerful ministry, the ministry that will sustain us, that will feed us, that will nourish us Amen. throughout the whole year. We will forever come back to the day where we had 15 days of the 11th hour divine turnaround conference where we will point out the things that God has done in and through our lives, in and through the nations of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Dr. Light. At this stage, I would like to pray. I would like to pray for the continent of America, North, Central, and South America. And the first prayer point that we are going to raise is um, we are going to be giving thanksgiving for the known and unknown works of God over the continent of America. Even as we are looking and pondering on this prayer point, I want us to read one verse in the book of Psalms 107, verse 1. It reads, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his compassion and loving kindness endures forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I was pondering on this verse, I remembered um, the powerful testimony that Dr. Light shared with us of President Jimmy Carter and his wife, Rosalind, who are married for 77 years this year in 2023. And I know none of us, let me not say none, maybe very few, if any, that have even lived for that long to be 77 years of age. But the president of America, Jimmy Carter and his wife, Rosalind, are married and still married for the 77th year, this year in 2023. And he is now 99 years and his sweetheart, um, uh, uh, Mama Rosalind, is um, 96 this year in 2023. And they got married when um, President Carter was 21 and his bride, Mama Rosalind, was only 18 at the time. Hallelujah. I believe that this is, um, he said, he said, Dr. Carter said, he believes that the secret to his long marriage, to his beautiful marriage, even to the fact that he's still alive, he points it up to his wife. He points it up to his wife. And I want to believe that the secret to this is the fact that the, 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 the story says, uh, the testimony says that every day as a couple, they read the Bible. They read the word of God as a couple. Hallelujah. I pray, I decree, and I declare that we can receive this anointing for ourselves and teach our generations that when we come together as couples before the Lord, reading the word of the Lord, confessing the truth of the word of the Lord upon our lives, the Lord will sustain us. The Lord will sustain our marriages. The Lord, the Lord will sustain even our health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray and say, Lord, grant us this anointing. Pour out this anointing to each marriage you know, in, 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 in to each marriage um, of everyone who is hearing my voice right now upon the marriages of the North, South, and Central America, that they may find the foundation of the fear of the Lord in their marriages, wow. in the mighty How name of Jesus. Jesus. Can we pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, mighty God, that you will tell you grant us the grace that you have given to the president, Jimmy Carter of America, my father and my king, to stay this long in, in, in his marriage. We are told that they have got the longest marriage in the history of the American president. That is a good thing that only you can do, my father. We believe that only you can do that in the mighty name of 
Thank you, Abba Father. At this point, I would like us to read the book of Second Chronicles, chapter number seven and verse fourteen. And um, at this stage, I want us to pray, you know, and confess all the rebellion of ev and, and every form of sin that has been committed by the people of America. I want us to confess the rebellion of every sin that has been committed by the people of America, both North, Central, and South America, in the name of Jesus. Can you read Second Chronicles 7 and verse 14? It reads, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek, require as a necessity my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. Hallelujah. I would like us as Global Harvest Prayer Network, the people whom we believe that we have been called according to the plan and purposes of God. I want us to cry out to say, Lord, we repent. We repent for every sin that has been committed by your children in America, all the North, Central, and South America. I want us to ask the Lord, for his forgiveness, for every sin that we can remember. In Jesus' mighty name, let us pray. Father God, we repent as the nation Lord, of America for all our God liberal God. institutions, my Father. We repent, my Father, for the that we have to in faith, my Father, that has undermined the plans of creation. My Father and my King, we amen to the marriage of the Lord. Father, we repent for the Lord. Let us be Jesus, 
forgiveness my father in the mighty name of jesus lord we repent for any kind of bloodshed and senseless the, killing yes, was done in, in the continent of America. Lord God Almighty, the suicides, the abortions, and any other senseless bloodshed that continue to marshal in the continent of America. Forgive us, Lord. We turn back our backs, God, from, from, from all these the young evil, ones, my God, Father, and we choose to seek your face. God, we choose to see guidance from your Father, God. God. By Lord God Almighty, we choose to see the, the truth, Father, the only Jesus. truth, and which is oh God, Jesus Christ, my Father and my King, in the, the mighty name of Father Jesus. Of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father. Let us be your holy name, King of Kings, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, O God. Blessed be your holy name, my Father, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Thank at this point, I would like us to enforce victory of Christ over the strong men behind all evils that were done in the continent of America. And uh, on this point, I want us to read the book of Romans 8. The book of Romans chapter number 8. We are going to be reading verses 34 and 35. Hallelujah. Romans chapter number 8. Verses 34 and 35. Hallelujah. It reads as follows. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 34 reads, Who is the one who condemns us? Christ Jesus is the one who died to pay our penalty. And more than that, who was mm. raised from the dead, who mm. is at the right hand of God, interceding mm. with the Father for us. Hallelujah. Mm. And verse Amen. 35, who shall mm. ever separate us from the mm. love of Christ? Will mm. tribulation or distress, persecution mm. or famine, or nakedness mm. or danger or sweat, mm. just mm. as it is written and forever mm. remains written. Mm. Uh, verse uh, 37 reads, in mm -hmm. all these things, we are mm -hmm. more than conquerors and gain mm -hmm. overwhelming victory through mm -hmm. him who loved us so mm -hmm. much that he died for us. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. At this point, I would like us to decree and declare mm -hmm. that it is only Jesus Christ who died. And therefore, mm -hmm. there will be no condemnation. Nothing mm -hmm. will separate us from the, from the love mm -hmm. of God. Nothing will separate mm. us as South as mm. Americans, North, mm. Central, and South America, mm. from the love of Christ. Mm. All those mm. things that have been cited there, be it tribulation, mm. darkness, persecution, mm. famine, nakedness, oh, danger, yes. or sweat, none of those yeah. have got and yeah. uh, have got any permission yeah. to separate yeah. us from the love mm. of Christ. Let us mm. pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God right. Almighty, we decree and oh, declare that Let nothing whatsoever has got any right, any authority, any permission to separate us from the love of Christ as the continent of America, North, Central, and South America. In the mighty name of Jesus, for your way of faith, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Any overwhelming in the name of Jesus, Father, you are the Lord and the Lord of the Father in Jesus' mighty name. We know that we are more than conquerors. That the Lord, by no means, 
At this point, I would like us to declare and trust God for revival outbreaks in the communities, in the cities, in the nations that make up the continent of America. Hallelujah. At this point, I want us to read uh, the book of John, chapter number 14. John, chapter number 14. We are going to be reading verse 6. John chapter number 14, verse 6, read. Jesus said to him, I am the only way to God and the real truth and the real life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus says, I am the way, the only way. I am the truth, the only truth. I am the life, the only real life. And no one come to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. At this point, I would like us to decree and declare that the life which is Jesus Christ, for we know that without the way, there is no going. If there is no way, there is no going. If there is no truth, there is no knowing. People will not know the truth. And if there is no life, there is no living. Hallelujah. I want us to declare the name of Jesus, whom we know that he is the way. And because he is the way, he will, en he will enable the whole nation, the whole continent of America to go. He will be able to guide them because they will know the truth. They will abide in truth. They will keep the truth. They will fear the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. And, and, there, and therefore, and thereafter, they will live. They will have life and life more abundantly. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we bring before you, Moinuele, North, Central, and South America, before you, O oh God, we speak the name of Jesus, my Father, who is the only real truth, who is the only real way, who is the only real life, my Father and my King, for your word says no one comes to the Father except through Him, my Father and my King. We thank you, Spirit of the living God, that you Oh my God, and God in this area, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, Father, there is none that is about you, oh my God, oh Father, you are the way and the truth, oh my God, Father, in the name of Jesus, and we thank you, Lord, my God, oh Father, that you will remain God in everything, in every situation, in every continent, oh my God, as we are praying for the America this morning, oh my God, oh God, stop one unto them, let your gospel be known unto them, let your gospel be known, oh my God, for they are people of God. That are yours, the of the blood of Jesus, that you already Jesus, ordained, oh God, are waiting for this gospel to reach them, oh my God, in the, in the, the mighty name of Jesus, God, Lord, we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of every human being, oh God, every universe, oh my God, you are a great of God, you cannot be a God, oh Father, make what you have created, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father, you are the God that will give us chance, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh Father, you always bring Bring good to us, even if we are men and faithful of God. That each one of them will have a personal encounter with Jesus Christ. That each one of them will have a personal encounter with Jesus Christ. In America and South America, in all of us, Lord, let your gospel be over. Let your gospel be with them, O God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Lastly, uh, brethren, I would like us to pray for the unity and undeniable act of God and prosperity of the people of America in the mighty name of Jesus. I would like us to read uh, the book of Psalms 133. Psalm 133 reads, I'm reading from verse 1. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. 
It is like the precious oil of consecration poured on the head, coming down on the beard, even the beard of Aaron, coming down upon the edge of his priestly robes, consecrating the whole body. Hallelujah. It is like the, the Jew of Mount Hermon coming down on the hills of Zion, for there the Lord has commanded the blessing and life forevermore. Hallelujah. I would like us to proclaim the blessing of the Lord upon the whole continent of America, North, Central, and South America, and the entire body of Christ to speak in one voice, to speak in one language, to understand that they are facing the one demon, one devil, who is here to kill, to steal, and to destroy. That when they speak together, when they come together, the Lord will command his blessing. I want us to command the blessing of the Lord as the body of Christ is standing united in America. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, we pray for peace and unity. God, we pray for unity, oh my God, for Lord, where there is unity, always for my blessing, oh my God. In the, 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 the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, God, Lord, the name of Jesus the Father, Lord, unity, your God, 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 you have given us, God, people are in oneness, oh God, they are in agreement in whatever they are doing unto you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you, your Father, God, because you said you cannot go together unless they are in agreement, oh my God. God. Is Father coming Lord, to let the your peace of reign in America, oh my God, oh Father, as they are united and they come together, oh my God, in oneness, oh God, before you, oh God, mighty Father. Lord, you shall never leave them, oh God, and that ended, oh mighty God, in the name of Jesus, Father, oh God, for where unity, oh God, is, oh God, it brings your presence into it, in the name of Jesus. See them through, oh mighty God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, for they are united, oh mighty Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Father, we declare, let there be a mighty move of your spirit, 11th hour visitation in all of North America, in all of South America, in all of Central America. A mighty move, 11th hour move of God. 11th hour move of God. 11th hour move in all the families, in the government of these nations, Lord, in the marketplace, in the school system, in different sectors, Lord, let there be an outpouring of your spirit leading to salvation, leading to deliverances, leading to revival, leading to transformation. In the name of Jesus, we proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord over South America. Jesus Christ is Lord over Central America. Jesus Christ is Lord over North America. Lord, we give you praise. You say, I, if I be lifted up, I will draw also all men unto me. We lift your name up, O oh God. We lift you up in all the cities, in all the all the villages, in all the islands, in all the rural places, in all of these regions. We lift your name up. Thank you, Father. Set this continent on fire. Set this continent on fire. This is your, your, your desire, that this nation be set on fire for you. So shall it be. For mighty revival, we look. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, before we take the communion, servants of God, um, we, I, I just got a message from Dr. Cindy here, who is based in the United States, that uh, Mama Rosalind Carter, the wife of uh, Jim Carter that, uh, that was mentioned, that, that, that she passed on on Tuesday this week. She passed on this week, I think at the age of uh, 90 something. I want us to pray for that family. Secondly, I want us to pray for the family of Mama Kama, whose husband went to be with the Lord, you know, um, Tuesday this, this week, the same day, actually, both of them. I want us to pray for these two families, that the hand of God will rest upon Mama Kama's uh, family as the funeral process will begin. And let's pray for the the, the Carter's family, that the hand mm. of God rest upon them and rest upon the old man that the wife has just departed. Shall we pray for them in the name of Jesus, Father? 
we lift your name. Our loving God, my Father, we thank you for your love. Mighty King, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. I know our lives, my Father, we lift up before you. key to the revival of east london and that entire community lord that the the burial of papa kama we bring about a major revival to don't you many souls shall be converted thank you father be glory for rived and they are they are they are loved says you will you will visit your name in jesus mighty name we pray Amen.